Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I want to show you how you can create sound effects. So sound effects are a vital part of any game really and trying to work them out and program them into a game is actually a lot simpler than what you would think. So I have a scene, and it's nothing too drastic, there's no UI on it just yet, but I have four sound effects that we're going to program into this game. So what we need to do firstly is let's create four different buttons. So let's go to UI and let's go to button. So this is just one quick way of showing you how we can use different sound effects within a game. So button, I'm going to change the text and let's call the text the same as what our buttons are. So first one is going to be a bang. Let's double uh, click on that so we can see it and let's bring it into perspective. So I'm going to have it center or at least this first one is going to be center. Let's have it about there. Let's duplicate that button, bring it down. Let's duplicate it again, bring it down again, and one more time. So I'm going to quickly rename all of these buttons. So the second one is beep, third one is ding. So each of these buttons are going to represent a different sound effect that we can have within the game. And we're going to do this using a C sharp script. So gun shot. So let's create that C sharp script. Right click, create C sharp. Let's call it SF. X playing, just something real simple. And I'll show you how to use this uh, practically within a game at the end of this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a couple of variables. So let's get rid of void update, void start. We don't need that. And let's have public audio source. Obviously, the word audio source being the most important part of this script. And we'll call the first one bang semicolon public audio source beep semicolon public audio source and the next one along was a ding semicolon and finally public audio source and let's call it gunshot semicolon so the way we're going to do this is we're going to do public void um, play bang open close bracket open curly bracket and it's as simple as just putting bang dot play open close bracket semicolon and close that up so then you can repeat the same again with the other three so we can just literally copy and paste what we've written already change it to beep, change it to ding, and then let's have play gun, and then remember to change these. So it's beep, and then ding, and then gunshot. Save that script, and we need to ta uh, attach it to an object within the game. So game object, create empty, and then we just drag and drop SFX playing onto there. Then obviously what we need to do is have the audio source in the scene to make it a little bit more uh, usable for ourselves. So I'm going to attach each one of these to the main camera. So create empty on the camera, drag and drop bang onto that game object and make sure we untick play on awake. So that's F2, call it bang. Hold control, press D, change it to beep. So beep. Hold control, press D again, change it to ding. So F2, ding, and Control D again for the fourth one, and gunshot. Now, it, for me, it's always a wise idea to have each of these in a separate game object because it, it just makes things easier to visually see in the game. There are different ways of doing it, and there probably are better ways within the C-sharp script to reference these assets directly, but having them in the scene gives you a bit more of a sense of visualization so you can physically see what's actually happening because here we can now set these by simply dragging and dropping everything over. So if you've already seen um, other tutorials on using UI you should know at this point to use these buttons all we need to do is click plus drag and drop that game object and change it to function and play first one is bang second one exactly the same again so this is generally how ui buttons work 
it, it's not too difficult to be honest and well this tutorial isn't really about UI at all so if you aren't too sure about how this UI is working I've got a couple of tutorials that may help you out so if you head over to the channel have a quick look on there you'll find something that helps you out with UI so now we have all these set if we press play in our game we should be able to click these objects and play different sound effects So this is how sound effects work. They can be played on command. So I said to you guys that I would show you how you can actually use this in a real physical game. So what I'll do is I will disable the canvas because we don't want that displaying now. And I'm going to zoom in on cube one. Now you may have noticed this cube actually fell behind the UI. So what I'll do is when this lands and hits the ground, it will make a banging noise. So let's use this same script, SFX playing. Um, we'll keep all them variables there. We'll keep everything there. But what we'll do is we'll do void on trigger enter open close bracket open curly bracket and then we can just do bang dot play. So the exact same thing happens. Close curly bracket and save. So we can now attach that script to cube two, which will act as the trigger because it's ticked for trigger. So drag and drop that onto the cube because this is almost flush with the ground itself. And all we need to do is just bring bang here and press play. So you can see that's how sound effects work in the real world. You can program things all kinds of different ways. So as soon as that lands, it plays the banging noise and it's not just <clears throat> excuse me it's not just on trigger enter that you can use you can use it when we press buttons for example like we'd have done here you can do it um, when the script starts you can do it after a delay by using i enumerator the main thing to remember is to always define it as an audio source as the variable and to use dot play with open close bracket it's really that simple as i said earlier in this tutorial it may seem difficult, but creating things like this isn't too difficult at all. And obviously, we could use that same variable again. We could make it play a beeping sound when we um, when the cube lands on the floor. It's the same principle. It's just switching out the audio. That's all it comes down to. So let's keep bang back in there. Press play and just watch it in action again. Perfect. So that's how you can implement sound effects into your game. Guys, thank you very much for watching.